Hey guys, so this is the army so far. Quite happy with how it's turning out. Um, this has taken about a year uh, to get this much done, and I'm quite happy with it. So I'll start off with the, the first unit, the Shooter Boys. Um, I'm quite happy with how these turned out. Um, you can see this is the older unit because they have the smaller bases as opposed to the 32 millimeter bases. I think they look better on the 32, but when I first started this, um, I wasn't sure if they were gonna go to 32 or stay on the 25 millimeter, so uh, this is what I got. And with the first paint scheme, I pretty much tried to, tried to copy what was on the box, so uh, black for all the clothes, and then silver for the armor and helmet. So I did eventually end up changing that to, to more of the black for the armor and the helmet. I think this looks better. You can see some of them have various kind of accessories on the back. This is probably my favorite. Just chopped off the top knot on the head. This is where I started adding more weathering to the armor. I just stippled on some silver paint on top of the black. I think it gives it a really nice kind of beaten and worn look. Also helps to contrast with the, the black cloth of the, the tunic and the pants. And then the next unit I did was the, uh, the knobs. I'm quite happy with how these turned out. This is where I went more, really double down on the, the checker pattern on the armor and the shoulder pads. I think it's really important to add like brass on top of the silver to just vary up the metallics. I think this one I could have done a better job of doing more stippling on the black uh, power claw. Okay, next unit we have the uh, Ludas. And the same kind of paint scheme is pretty pervasive throughout the whole army. It's pretty consistent. You have the checker pattern on the wiring. And the white on the little details, like the little lightning bolt, really helps to contrast with the black. This is where I started adding khaki for the, the wrappings, leggings. I 
And then the next unit of uh, Slugger Boys. This is where I started adding more black to the uh, to the guns. It really helps to keep it consistent with the overall the overall black color scheme, along with the helmet. But then I keep uh, some chipping and weathering with the silver on top to rig it to make the material feel like it's different from the tunic and the pants. I really like the bullets on the back. This one I experimented with more uh, checker patterns on the armor. And then I have a unit of uh, tank busters. There's just so many details on this that it takes a really long time to paint these guys. I'm quite happy with how they turned out. I know these are the pewter ones, so I know the the hammer broke off between the, the hands, so I had to re-glue it so it's a bit fiddly then you have the knob it's pretty heavy say the probably one of my favorite units is the, the squig buggy I 
I painted it in the uh, goth color scheme. So um, my printers just followed kind of the patterns that were on the box, but just applied the goth kind of motif to it. So instead of that uh, kind of triangle stripe pattern on the left, I just put a, a checker pattern. Then I added some brass elements to kind of contrast with the silver. This kit is just kind of swimming with detail, so this took a this took a little while to paint. It really makes a big difference just painting in the eyes of all the squigs and all the teeth and the, uh, all the little details. It really, really adds up. If I were to do anything differently, I, I might want to go back and add some purple for the tongues. Didn't quite get that far. And then the final unit is the war boss. So this is the old uh, pewter one. Quite happy with how this turned out. I really took my time with it. Uh, and added several highlights to pretty much everything. So yeah, it's pretty much swimming with detail too. And at the end of this video, I'm going to add some uh, still pictures, so it should give an even clearer picture of what this stuff looks like. And just want to say thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thank you.